Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert's Tuesday Tip. So today's tip, measuring rounds. And I'm gonna throw a bonus in there for you as well. So we're gonna measure rounds with the SX-10. So while I'm getting this set up, you guys watch this intro. Okay, so I've got the SX-10 set up, we're ready to go. So uh, first thing we wanna do is we wanna go to measure. We wanna say SX-10, I'm gonna say station setup. Level bubble's close enough for what I'm doing for right now. That all looks good for now. Instrument point name, we're gonna call it number one. Code, I'm just gonna call it CP. Instrument height, five foot, 5,000. 5,000 and 100. I've got this job set up as scale factor only. So backside point's gonna be number two. Code's gonna be CP. Backside height is gonna be five foot. Bearing's gonna be about 285. Angles and distances. So let's, uh, let's see if we can find this thing. Okay, we want to make sure this is on Seco 30 millimeter prism. So that's a minus 30 millimeter offset, except, so I'm going to say measure. Store. Station setup completed. Okay, so I've got my station set up and back sight done. Now what I want to do is go into measure. I'm going to go to measure rounds. So there's my target, okay? So rounds back sight, number two, CP, target height, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna say accept. Target gonna shoot it on phase two. Observation stored. Target locked. Okay, so now it's asked me for point the next point name, right? So we're gonna do number three. So we're gonna swing no target. way over here. Target locked. Code. CP, this is gonna be an R10 360 prism. Enter, measure. Observation stored. Target locked. Observation stored. Okay, now at this point, it's looking for more points, and we'll do that in a second. It's looking for more points to do rounds on, right? So if I go into options and look at how I've got this set up, um, I've got my round set to uh, sets one per point. What that means is it's gonna, gonna sight and back sight is gonna do one set. Number of rounds between the targets, I've got set to three. The order that I have is face one, face two, and observation order is one, two, three, three, two, one. This is my, the way I like to do it. Okay, you can monkey around with it and get it any way you want to. So, Let's just go ahead and we're gonna say in face. Round completed. Okay, first round is completed. Now it's gonna do round two. Observation stored. So it shot it. Let's flip the scope. Target locked. Observation stored. Now it's gonna turn back to point number one. Target locked. Or back to number two, my backside. Observation stored. It's gonna do a phase two. Target locked. Round completed. Okay. Changing face. Target locked. Observation stored. Target locked. Okay, it's doing three of three rounds right now. Observation stored. Target locked. Observation stored. Target locked. Round completed. Changing face. Okay, round Target standard locked. deviation three of three. As you can see, I got three seconds on the horizontal and I've got one, um, one thousandths on the slope distance. So I can say close. 
Save and exit rounds, yes, that means I'm done with them, okay? So now then, if we go into point manager and look, there's my points. So, okay, so that's the average of the set. So let's run back through this again so I can show you how this works, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna do this again. This time though, I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up a, uh, an extra point. Okay, so now I'm on about back site. Out of tolerance. Okay, it's telling me when it's it back sighted that it's out of tolerance. I'm gonna say accept. Observation stored. It's gonna flop the scope, shoot it again. Target locked. Observation stored. Okay, now it's looking for my second point. Target locked. No target. Target locked. So I'm gonna change this again to the R10 360 prism. And I'll call it number five. CP. Observation stored. Target locked. Observation stored. Okay, so now it's looking for another point, target so we're locked. gonna go to the third one. No target. Target locked. Call that six. CP. Change the prism to a 360 prism. Measure. And one of the things you're gonna notice is, is that the prism is gonna change locked. to whichever one it's shooting. If you watch that prism up there. Observation stored. Target locked. Okay, now it's looking for another one, right? It's looking for a fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever I want. So I'm gonna say in face. Completed. Observation stored. So it's shooting that one first. Observation stored. Watch the prism. Target locked. Just went to number one. Observation stored. Target locked. Now it's going to go back to the back side and that'll be a Seco prism. Observation stored. See the minus 30? Went from those two were minus Target two. Locked. That one's minus 30. Observation stored. Target locked. Round completed. Okay, there we go. Change that actually face. looks a little bit better. Target One thousandths locked. on slope distance all the way around. So at this point, I'm done, or I can um, I can move on. So let's hit close, save and exit rounds. There they are. So that's how you do rounds in the um, with Trimble Access. I uh, hope that helps. Now then. Um, I'm gonna give you the bonus that I was telling you about. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Okay, let's go into measure. Let's do new station setup, okay? New station setup, except now then, when I'm in this screen, which is asking me to move to point three, because if you'll remember, I shot one, two, and the first one I shot a minute ago was three, right? So that is the traverse routine that's in here. So if I go to options, I scroll up here to the top, you'll see it says traversing. So what it does with traversing is the first point you shoot, right? I set up my back sight. The first point I turn and go to, that is my, um, my traverse point. So from there, I can shoot whatever I want to. Those are just side shots. But if you hit traversing on there, when you hit new station, it's going to move you up to that point. So, oh, added bonus in there for you. So traversing, rounds, measuring rounds got you hooked up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. i um, trying to get some of these Tuesday tips out for you guys since I've been so far behind. So I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, just hit me up, drop me some comments. And I keep forgetting to tell you guys, like and subscribe, right? If you like it, I know what um, that you like my video. Uh, subscribe tells me that you're engaged. Leave me some notes down at the bottom. I don't get to check the comments really often. But when I do, I try to answer every one of them. So you guys hit me up. So, guys be safe. See you in the next video. God bless.